out here in Georgetown on Route 9. The snow continues to fall, and every time the snow comes around, that means the plows are hard to work. But take a look at Route 9 here. It's pretty empty. There's still a lot of snow on the ground. Cars are forced to go pretty slowly, and this is a primary road. This is the roads that have already been hit by the plows, and obviously there's a lot more work to go. But I talked to Dell Dot today. They say the rain that preceded the snow created some problems. The ground was simply too wet, and so they weren't able to pre-treat these roads. They didn't even start dropping salt until the trucks started moving at around 3 this morning. And as always, these passing plows knocked over some mailboxes. What happened to your mailbox, sir? Well, the, the plow trucks come by here shoveling the snow so hard, it just knocked the mailbox off. Down. This isn't the first time, you said, too? No, it's not the first time. Every time we get a heavy snow, they does it. Delta tells WBOC about 100 mailboxes are knocked over each storm, but they say that that's just a necessary evil, and they say that they'll actually fix up your mailbox if you request it. But as for these roads, they're going to continue plowing, and they're not even going to start with the secondary roads until they get these primary roads all cleaned up. Reporting in Sussex County, Evan Kozlov, WBOC News in Georgetown. Out here on Route 9 in Georgetown, the snow continues to fall, and as it piles up, it just makes it harder and harder to walk through these inches inches and inches of snow and that's bad for everybody who's out here but nobody's feeling it more than those that are out here working today and we caught up with one of those people meet Tom Givens he works for the United States Postal Service and he was delivering mail through the blistering cold weather and here's what he had to say about it we're out here rain sleet snow so I mean we just got to watch safety first we got to make sure you know we don't get hit staying warm now Cold and wet. And speaking of that temperature, I've got the WBOC weather app here in front of me. 19 degrees right now, and that's just one of the problems for those that are out here working today. The other one is road conditions. Now, Route 9's right here behind me, and this is a primary road, so this one has been plowed. Still not looking great out here, but then you have to look at the secondary roads over here. This is just one of the many here in Sussex County, and obviously a lot of work is needed here. Uh, and that actually won't even begin until the snow stops falling. So it's going to be a long day of plowing. It's going to continue into the night. Reporting in Sussex County, Evan Kozloff, WBOC News in Georgetown. It continues to snow here in Sussex County, and so the plows are hard at work. And you know, it's not just the public plows. This here is a private plow going through the Georgetown Plaza, trying to open up the doors for businesses such as this one right here, J&J &J Bagels. And I spoke to the owner this morning, and he said that the snow is hurt business. A lot of people aren't coming out in this mess. They're too scared to and afraid to come out in it. You know, accidents and not somebody spin out, hit them, then they're tore up, they're tore up, so better off to stay home. Now, slower business is expected today as the state has urged people to stay off the road. Uh, although we are seeing some cars here in the parking lot, the governor initiated a level one driving warning in the state, and that could continue until the snow comes to an end. And I spoke with the emergency operations center. They say it was a busy morning as they received a high volume of 911 calls and that's, act that's actually because there were 67 accidents in Delaware between 2 a.m. and 10 a.m. So overnight there were a lot of car accidents and I think some people are heeding the warnings and staying off the roads, which are hurting some businesses. Reporting in Sussex County, Evan Kozloff, WBOC News in Georgetown. Out on Coastal Highway, it could be described as sloppy. Some cars are making their way down the road and the big issue that they're running into was the rain. Essentially, before the snow started, there was rain and so they weren't able to pre treat the roads, they weren't able to put salt down, and that leads to situations like this, a light layer of snow and underneath ice, and that ice has been chaotic for drivers. In a 12-hour period between 2 a.m. and 2 this afternoon, there were 85 accidents in Delaware. Between 2 and 4, that number jumped to 101. And we spoke to some Route 1 drivers who got caught up in that snow. Uh, it's a mess. There's snow and ice everywhere. Slippery road. So bad that your gas tank is frozen shut. Yes, the uh, the gas cap is frozen in place. I can't seem to get it off right now. Now, once they're all done removing all of this snow away from the primary roads, then they can move on to the secondary roads, and that process could take all night. 
Reporting in Tussos County, Evan Kozlov, WBOC News, Rehoboth Beach. Just yesterday, it was over 60 degrees and people were flocking to the Tanger outlets to do some shopping. Now we're here in the bitter cold, lots of snow, and that means these plows are here to do some work and clear up the area. And the name of the game is getting businesses back open tomorrow morning. I talked to the man who is driving that plow. Got, got a phone call at seven o'clock this morning. Told us to be here at uh, nine o'clock. And uh, we've been out here ever since, and whatever it takes to get done, we get done. Whatever it takes to get these outlets open tomorrow, that's how long it takes for us to be here. Now he is optimistic, and the silver lining here is that the snow has now stopped. And now that it's passing, that means it's all going to be about the cleanup crew and getting businesses back started tomorrow. Reporting in Sussex County, Evan Kozloff, WBOC News at the Tanger Outlets in Rehoboth.